The top Chinese official Liu Jianchao, head of the International Liaison Department of the Chinese Communist Party, is currently in Nepal to reportedly reunite communist forces in the country. The visit comes amid fears in Beijing that Nepal has abandoned its non-aligned foreign policy and tilted towards the West. Despite significant political and economic investment from Beijing, the Nepalese government ratified the U.S. Millennium Challenge Corporation, or the MCC, despite China voicing its reservations. Irked by the passage of the $500 million MCC grant, the Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesperson alleged that Washington was undermining the sovereignty of other countries through coercive diplomacy. The rivalry between China and the U.S. is well known, and Nepal seems to be caught right in the middle. In between the geopolitical rivalry, Nepal's Prime Minister Deoba is scheduled to pay an official visit to the U.S. later this month to mark 75 years of diplomatic ties between the U.S. and Nepal. We on earlier spoke to analysts from the region on the importance of this visit. Listen in. Whenever they come, the chief of the Communist Party of China, they make it a point to to meet almost every leader of almost every parties. And I Ping, who came here in 2018, he came four times, I think, Nepal. He went to a you know, inaugural ceremony of the Tarai. Uh, Tarai Madhis parties in Birgans. So he, you know, they they don't distinguish between the Communist Party, but they, I think, feel easier when there is, uh, you know, our the, when the, we had a, co a leftist coalition and Wally was Prime Minister. They feel, I think, convenient to to deal with them because their own, you know, system is based on the principle of the com <laughs> Communist parties. There is a competition between the uh, um, constituted and the constitutional forces in Nepal, which still exists. And uh, second is the um, uh, fear of the uh, constituted forces, particularly the Maoist and the other political forces, that people might reject them. And the third is, you know, if you look at the last elections, uh, there are more than 50% of the people who have voted and who have been, uh, let's say, I mean, um, trained or who have been uh, educated with a general feeling of the Americans as an uh, imperialist and India as expansionists. So this is what is driving uh, the system here. This is the second high-level delegation visit from China in the last five months. In March, Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi visited Nepal. This visit comes as the Himalayan nation is heading towards federal and provincial elections in a single phase on November 18th. And for more on-ground insights, our correspondent Saloni Murarka has sent us this report from Kathmandu. Take a look. Chinese officials who are on a four-day visit to Kathmandu have met with the Prime Minister and other key party leaders. During the meeting, as per the sources, Prime Minister Deva reiterated Nepal's commitment towards a one-China policy and that Nepal government will not allow any power to engage in anti-Chinese activities in the country. While at the same time, many experts have raised their concerns uh, over the agenda of the visit, which according to them is to bring the communist forces together in Nepal ahead of the election. They believe that communist government is not in the interest of democratic principles. We know that this visit comes in the backdrop of the MCC ratification. While this is not only the irritant factor between Nepal-China relationship right now, there are border issues and the trading which has been suspended since COVID-19 pandemic. While we are not aware if these issues were touched upon during the meetings. Saloni Murarka for Vion, World is One in Kathmandu, Nepal. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.